Did you know we earn the average of our top five closest friends? You know why that is? We speak differently at different financial levels. Here's what I mean. If you are a worker bee, you work for somebody else and you're out there doing your thing, a lot of times people sit around after work or at dinner parties or at whatever it might be and they talk about their jobs. And a lot of times they say, I like my job, but they gripe about this, they gripe about that, they complain, complain. That's kind of a common thing for some people, especially lower income people. As you start to make more money, well, the conversations can be different. Now, if you're just a jerk, then you're just a jerk, right? I can't help you. But if you're somebody that just is having a conversation about money and you start to complain a little bit, there's only a certain level you're gonna get to. If you're in a room full of entrepreneurs, the conversations are different. You are a peer with those people. And you start to think like those people. You have conversations like those people. Recently, Amber and I joined a mastermind group and it's a mastermind group that are the top investors in the whole country. And it's so funny to be at dinner with those people and have a conversation. We all understand it. We don't have to explain our horror stories because we all have them. We look at each other and we start the story and the other person goes, I know, I know, I've been there. And we start discussing a, a bad employee we had or a bad deal we had and all they do is look at you and go, yeah, no. And they understand. But the same is true for the positive parts of those conversations. When you say to those people, how are you overcoming this problem or how did you do this? All of a sudden they elevate you to a new level and you start to think differently because you're around those people and suddenly what becomes normal is not normal at a different income level. Here's what I mean. If you sit around the room and people are talking about their old cars that don't run really well and that's kind of the conversation they all have, well that's what you become used to. But if you come around people that have really nice cars, that's the conversation. And this, listen, this life is not about having nice cars and that kind of crap. That's not what I'm saying. My point is that the conversations are different. Our friends now, a lot of them are start, are have planes. That's kind of a common thing. People have their own planes and whatnot. And so it's kind of funny to have those conversations and realize that that's a normal conversation. At the multi-millionaire level, like the $100 million level and the billion dollar level, what do you suppose they're talking about? Well, business ideas. They're discussing the recent plane they just bought, the third jet they have, or their you know, 50th house they have in uh, who knows what country. But they have a different discussion level. So suddenly, you know they say keeping up with the Joneses? Well, you know that can happen with you just by being in the right circle of people. You just start to think differently. I'm not saying get rid of your friends. I'm saying be very careful who you get close to and who you spend a lot of conversations with. Because if you want to elevate your financial situation and your family's financial position, you may have to consider putting some people in that group that can really elevate the way that you think. And you might start to be drawn towards that and love your friends, always be there for them and have those conversations, but find another circle that might really elevate your thoughts and elevate the way you think about money. If you think differently about money, you'll start to earn more of it. And then your life can change.